Chairman of our great party in Sanfara State, dear woman leader, the organizing secretary. I hope the secretary is around. Yes, sir. Aha, <laughs> the state secretary. <laughs> so, leaders of our party in Sanfara State. Distinguished members of our party in Zamfara State, distinguished members of the press, distinguished members of my delegation, ladies and gentlemen. Let me say that I am privileged this morning to be in your midst. Because when I spoke with the chairman, and he told me that I can uh, address the entire de uh, delegates from Zamfara State, in Abuja, I was so excited because he made the journey shorter for me. I was already planning how to come to Zamfara when I got this opportunity. I say very deep privilege, and I thank all of you for it. Chairman, especially, I thank you for this. You see, there is one advantage I have over many others. And that advantage is that I can find hope in every part of Nigeria. Yes. Um, I won't speak much today. I'll just tell you one or two stories. As a young school leaver, I was posted to Sokoto State for my NYS. <laughs> When I finished my orientation at the at the University of Sokoto, I was deployed to serve in Mamsa. And when I got to Mamsa, the director of Mamsa Sokoto State was Alaji Ibrahim uh, Ibrahim Ibrahim Galadima Wambai. <laughs> He received me amongst others, but there was something outstanding he did. As a youth copper, he made me the coordinator of youth mobilization in the then old state. So to yes. Comprising KP, Zamfara, and Sokoto. And in, in my capacity as the coordinator, I visited every local government in the old Sokoto state, oh. including Skuzum. <laughs> um, at that time, I slept in I slept in Safara State. I slept in uh, Guzum, Karanamoda, Talata Mafara. <laughs> <laughs> Subsequently, he was uh, appointed as one of our ambassadors. And now he's late. Yes. I also know that today the banditry in Zamfara, it is estimated that about 20 ordinary Nigerians are killed every day. In honor of my late boss, and in honor of the innocent Nigerians that lose their lives, that have lost their lives in Zamfara, can we rise for a one minute silence? May the gentle souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. You can see I am at home in Zafar. And I want to remind us that then, if I'm traveling from Sokoto down to the east, I will stop over in Wambai's house and sleep. 
before I continue my journey the following day. And today I can say, if I look into Zafa, I have too many colleagues, too many friends, and very many faces that I can say, look, I am proud to be a Nigerian. Yes. And I think that is all we are looking for. <clears throat> now, the second thing I want to say in this is that when I was going around to consult with our leaders on what actually do we need to do to make Nigeria great, all of us agreed <coughs> at basic things. One, we need a more unified Nigeria. Two, we need a safe and secured Nigeria. Three, we need a prosperous Nigeria where every citizen should find something to eat to earn a living. Four, we need a Nigeria of equal opportunity for all. And I think that is all you need. Yes. So across board, Nigerians know what they need to grow as a nation. Today, I want to say that with my knowledge of Zafa, I believe that with the right leadership, with the right economic management, Zamfara, with the natural resources deposited in that state, should be the richest state in Nigeria. Yes. Today, I also know that with an average of people, 20 people dying in Zamfara uh, every day, that in every social, every human environment, that that was alarming. Yes. And because they are ordinary people, it is as if no much is said about them. The, pos the point, uh, the position I take before all of you <coughs> is that we all also must agree that the life of every Nigerian matters. Yes. Yes. Whether that life is that of a big man, a small man, ordinary man, uh, work, uh, unemployed or employed, the life of every Nigerian matters. For me, as an aspirant today, you all know my history. You all know my pedigree. You all know that Wherever I have worked, whenever I step in, peace returns there. Yes. Whenever I step in, stability returns there. Yes. Whenever I step in, growth and prosperity returns there. Yes. Wherever I step in, there is equity and fairness. Yes. All I ask you is that 2023 is not going to be like any other election. Yes. We are trying to recruit a leader that will rescue Nigeria. Nigeria. It is not just an ordinary election. And if we don't recruit the right leader, life will continue to be meaningless. We will continue to be poor in the midst of plenty. I ask you for one thing. Let us partner to rescue Nigeria. If you ask me in this partnership, what is the need for Zafara State? I will tell you one. Security. I will make sure that security and the respect for human life returns to us. I will make sure 
that the natural resources in Zamfara is managed for the benefit of Zamfara people and Nigerians. <laughs> and we make sure that Zamfara State become the richest state in Nigeria. <laughs> and we make sure that I have my personal home in Zamfara. <laughs> <laughs> All of you that knows me, know that I don't say what I won't do. I am not the type, the regular type of politician. I say what I mean, and I say what I can do. So, my brothers from Zafar my sisters from Safa. It is the time we are careful not to be deceived by people. We had this country on the path of growth, the fastest growing economy in Africa. We had this country on the path of peace, where unity was returning to this country. We had this country on the path of security, where you can travel from Abuja to Zamfara without any fear. But today, this is where we are. Do you know the problem? Leadership. And it's the leadership that will bring that gap. That is what I'm offering. Are you ready to go with me? Yes. Mr. Chairman, like I did say, I am at home. I don't need to talk much in Zampa. And when I look around in Zampa, I feel so much at home. When I was in the Senate, I had my late colleague, Senator Anka, who was like part of me. When I was uh, in the Senate, I had in, uh, my closest friend, Lawali Shwaibu, who is now Caesar. In fact, <coughs> he, he said he, he was popularly known as the best friend of Mr. Sede President. <laughs> and we make many other best friends of the President. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs>